2018 tonight. Questions about 50000 in cash given to a Cochrane campaign staffer. The Cochrane campaign says it just made a mistake in campaign finance reports. So 16 WAPT's Scott Simmons found out it's adding more ammo to the war of words in this bitter election challenge. Very unusual. Uh, they pride themselves on being a very experienced campaign team. It's hard to believe that someone with that kind of experience would have made just a simple mistake or a screw up as they called it. Chris McDaniel pulled no punches Wednesday, raising questions about why the latest campaign finance reports shows 53,000 in cash given to one Thad Cochran campaign staffer. It is the latest wrinkle in a post-election fight that is loaded with allegations from the McDaniel campaign. He claims the election was a sham. Cochran's campaign spokesman says they amended the federal campaign finance report for what was a mistake. Did she actually receive $50,000 in cash for walk-around money? Uh, for, for get out the vote efforts, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, she's the one that disperses the money to the volunteers and the get out the vote people, the door knockers, the phone bank people, you know, the people we pay to help turn out the vote. So, you know, the money was dispersed. It wasn't reimbursed to her. It was filed on the wrong line. That is so. a lot of money. That's why it raises some eyebrows. Well, sure. We spent a lot of money on our get out the vote effort. That's a lot of money. And it's a lot of walking around money that was used to push Democrats into the polls, so it's problematic. It's, it's a pretty regular occurrence. You know, the McDaniel campaign has had to file three amended FEC reports during this campaign. It is the latest back and forth. Observers continue to pour over campaign records in places like Madison County. Volunteers are scouring election records all over the state. McDaniel's team says it's looking to document cases of voter fraud and irregularity to challenge the primary outcome. Our people are still in the field, and we'll know something in the next couple of days. McDaniel says his legal team has had to get judicial orders to let them see election records in some counties where they've been denied access. What Chris McDaniel is really alleging here is that the entire state of Mississippi's government is corrupt from the governor on down. So far, no numbers of what they found or when they'll go to court to challenge the election returns. For Commitment 2014, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. And just about 30 minutes ago, the nonprofit group True the Vote refiled a lawsuit contesting the election results, this time in the U.S. Southern.